this leads us in the direction of, of a kind of the seasonal link I mentioned earlier. So the other day, actually, I saw a friend's Christmas tree that had um, a little Amanita muscaria, you know, um, ornaments hanging in the trees. And I'd just been reading about how they, you know, traditionally would dry the, dry them in the trees. And obviously, these are reindeer herders. And once once one first hears about this connection, I think between the kind of modern European myth of Santa Claus and um, mm-hmm. And Siberian shamanism, it's to me, even though it can't really be proven definitively, I guess, it seems kind of the number of connections seem overwhelming. Um, is this something that you, you, you yes. think has something? However, to... I've argued against this. Did you read my essays called essay called Travels with Santa and His Reindeer? Yes, I did. Yeah. Okay. I initially, like you, uh, associated uh, Santa Claus and his reindeer with Siberia. Um, But then I decided that there were similar activities being performed by shamans in Lapland, northern Scandinavia. And, you know, they would, uh, in the dead of winter, go through the chimneys of yurts to meet with their constituents. Uh, But here's the important thing. In Siberia, no one travels by reindeer. They travel by dog sled. In Lapland, they tra- travel by reindeer, and still do, especially when tourists are around, uh, travel by reindeer-drawn sleds. Um, and the use goes back, I mean, it's long died out among the Laps, or the Sami people. Uh, so what I've argued is that because it was easier for the image, uh, this image uh, of Santa Claus and reindeer to enter European uh, lore from Lapland than from Siberia, indeed from distant Eastern Siberia, right. more likely uh, and we'll go. I'll go into a second how Santa Claus is uh, presumably associated with the mushroom. Um, it's more likely that it came down into Europe from Lapland. Right. Um, and for the longest time, in fact, Laps were regarded by civilized Europeans as being virtually folkloric people. Um, you know, people who could cause diseases with like that. Women, their women could um, uh, bring on strong winds to prevent boats from reaching Lapland if those women so desired. Uh, But uh, here's the thing. Um, You've got a Sami shaman pulling up in the dead of winter uh, uh, at a yurt. Um, He can't get in the front door. There's too much snow. So he has to climb down the chimney, but the chimney or the chimney hole is, has been altered to allow the entrance of people and the people leaving as well. Um, so this is no big deal. He's also eaten an Amanita muscaria before arrival uh, because um, that will help him make whatever decision he needs to make when the person he's visiting says, well, excuse me, but um, uh, so my next door reindeer herder has stolen my wife. Anyway, uh, and it is said that a person who, uh, or a shaman who eats Amanita muscaria looks like Amanita muscaria. So imagine a, this mushroom, sort of a plump, reddish mushroom with white spots transformed into a human being. Okay, that's what is sitting now in the, um, and the Santa image then, because of all this, uh, tended to filter down into Europe um, long before, and it becomes, I mean, to my mind, it isn't all of Santa Claus. There are all sorts of other images, Father Christmas images, that tend to be combined in his uh, character. Anyway, what's happening, though, is uh, he's not providing the latest laptop or books 
or uh, microwave to his constituents. He's providing advice. And that's the gift. It's not capitalism, it's pre-capitalism. Uh, and you know, so the person says, uh, gosh, well, my next door nearly neighbor has stolen my wife. Should I kill him, steal his reindeer? What should I do? Um, the shaman has taken Amity to Muscaria and he comes up with whatever decision is necessary, which will probably be don't kill him. Uh, but, and a lot of it is indeed probably psychological. If your life was, if your wife was that easily uh, purloinable, then she wasn't worth having in the first place. Oh, thank you so much. Uh, and rain, you know, reindeer meat or other forms of gift are given to the shaman, which indeed aids and abets his bulk. So one can imagine these individuals uh, riding around in sleighs being not only bulky uh, because of the bulk of Amanita Muscari, but also bulky uh, because they've been well fed by their uh, people who've, to whom they've been given advice.